Well, when you live up here in the wild, there's always all kinds of mosquitoes and you're always experimenting on ways not to get bit. Ah, uh, gosh. And they really do take a lot of your blood up here. Anyway, I'm gonna experiment with more things to try and fight these bugs because they're really bad. And the topic of this week's video is, not blood, the topic of this week's video is experimenting. And I'm gonna show you something that I bought to experiment with. And if nothing else, we'll make this an entertaining video. Come right back. If you look at the sides here, you'll see something looks a bit weird. All right, this is what I've bought right here. It is a Nikon Wide Converter WC E68 0.68 times wide angle adapter. Now these were meant to go on, I think they were like a Coolpix quick little uh, camera. 46 millimeter thread mount. So I decided to put it on my, I gotta check for mosquito bites every like five seconds. I decided to put this on my Lumix 14 millimeter lens. This isn't gonna be perfect. There's, there's no doubt about it. I think I paid $40 for this and I just was really curious. So I put it on this 46 millimeter lens. And I'm gonna try it on a Laowa 7.5 millimeter soon to see what kind of wide angle I get on that. It's a really different kind of look. It's not gonna fit everybody. But what the heck, let's try it. And we know the sides are probably gonna be way out of focus. You're not gonna get edge to edge sharpness. Instead of thinking, oh, that looks like garbage when you look at the image, it's better to think, okay, are there applications where that might be useful. That's where photographers and videographers are different from one another, where some people see impossibilities, other ones see possibilities. So let's just put this on and get some more clips with it. And you can see right away the out of focus on the edge is blurring. So it's as to be expected, it's what I thought. I don't think it's meant for this type of lens. Uh, the range that it's meant for is that 25, 28. Uh, I had it in the description back a while ago. Anyways, where could this work? I don't know, you know, there's probably not a lot of applications, but if you really walk fast, you can see how it emphasizes the speed around the sides of you, which is kind of cool. So it might have some limited uh, opportunities for that. I'll show you what it looks like with the Laowa 7.5 and really heavy vignette of course and uh, you could take that out in post but I don't know if you'd want to bother. It's just fun experimenting with this. If it works it works, if it doesn't uh, you don't have to go out and buy it. To answer your question with like steaming glasses, do these work? I, I don't know. That's the whole point maybe of this video is using our community in the comments down below to talk more about all these different old adapters that are out there. Nikon has them, Panasonic has them, I think Olympus has them too. And they weren't be, uh, built for cameras maybe that we're using today. They were built for cameras from, you know, early 2000s or late 1990s. But maybe we can get some comments down below to talk about these old adapters and how to determine if they work on cameras today. You know, maybe the sensor size is a factor, the lens uh, distance or focal length is a, an issue for sure. But let's get it going, let's talk about them. There's all kinds of these out there and they probably have way better glass than all those cheap ones, knockoffs that you see all over eBay and Amazon. Uh, gosh, you got me right through the mesh or the, the protector. All right, I gotta get out of here because they are really wild. We'll see you in the next video, guys. Have fun. That's what it's all about.